Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name's Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Yeah, good morning, boys. How we doing this morning? You guys ready for some green? Yeah, good morning, good morning. There you go. There you go. There you go, boys. Eat up. Alrighty, we got hay in the stalls and grain in the stalls. All the muck buckets are out in the aisleways and ready to be put in the wagon. So you guys know what's up next. That's right, guys, it's time to let in the boys. I'll tell you what, guys, it's humid today. There's some thunderstorms moving through this afternoon that'll hopefully clear up all that humidity, but man, it's humid out. Over here, since Tucker's currently hurt, we have Roe and William together. Look at them, they're all brothers. They're doing pretty good together, which we're really happy to see. But because both of them are in this pasture, William slightly knows his, his stall. Roe also slightly knows his stall. So I'm gonna set the camera down and lead them in. And then I'm gonna let Poncho in and the rest of the guys. So I'm gonna find a nice spot to put you guys down and we're gonna let everybody in. Ah, I hope you guys are having a good day. It's nice today. They're calling for it to be cloudy, pretty much in the 80s. Only thing to complain about is that it's humid. If it wasn't humid, it'd be pretty nice. Nice breeze today. Monroe. I let Tucker in. He was in the ring already. That's why there's all these little Tucker missiles everywhere. Or Tucker bombs. We're going to call them Tucker bombs, which I got to clean up today. Uh, so next up's Poncho. You ready, Scoots? Are you let in Poncho? All right. On ahead, buddy. Jack, are you guys waiting for me? All right, come on. Let's go. Come on, boys. Come on. You may be wondering why the horses were a little apprehensive to come in the barn today. It's July 5th. And so what that means is all night there was fireworks that were getting launched off all around us. Our neighbors kind of get pretty crazy with it sometimes and the animals really don't like it because it basically sounds like bombs are going off in the sky. Over the years, the horses that are what I would call veterans that are here for a very long time, they're not bothered by it too, too much. But horses that are fresh, such as Poe, they're a little scared to go inside the horse stable. They're pretty much scared to go everywhere. Doesn't last too long, but that is something that we have to keep in mind for today. The horses are gonna be a little skittish. So when I'm handling them, I need to be a little slower and just keep that in mind as I'm with them to ensure that I don't accidentally scare them or accidentally make them jump into something that hurts them. And now I gotta spend more time taking care of them instead of letting them out in the pasture, letting them be a horse. And believe me guys, that's all Champ wants to do, is spend time out being a horse. I figured you guys would be curious to want to know if there were cows out today. No cows, just horses. And suede. You know how Gavin feels about suede. All right, you guys ready to come on in? I know you are. There you go. Go ahead, Danny. Go ahead, Declan. Go ahead, Spitfire. Suede. Archer, Samson, whoa, Gavin, Obi, Skywalker, Argento, and Weather. Look at you all coming in together. <laughs> that rhymed. Here's Mr. Samson. How's our trough? Woohoo! She's low. Horses are drinking quite a lot of water now because it's warm. Horses drink the most amount of water during the heat of summer and the dead of winter. During the spring and fall, they get a lot of the water from the grass they're eating because that's when it's our wet season here. But during the summer, it gets a little dry. And during the winter, they're eating hay and hay's dry. So that makes them thirsty, so they want to drink a lot of water. So we got to make sure during those two times of the year, that they get a lot of water. All right, so we got the donkeys some fresh water out of our trough. I see that Poncho deposited some hay in there for us. We have two massively full wagons of manure for me to take care of. And I'm trying to get a look 
and see where that water trough is over there. It looks a little empty. I'll have to take a look at it when I go in there to pull the water, <laughs> pull the water, pull the manure wagons out so that I could see if I need to fill that trough up today or not. Let's go ahead and get the donkeys out. Now, normally I would say, oh, it's time for a donkey time. And it is, because it's donkey time. But I don't have Gavin with me today. He's taking care of some family responsibilities. So he's not here to help me today. So I'm not even gonna attempt the donkey dance. I am sorry. You guys were super kind and nice about how awful my donkey dance was, and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna set the camera up, and you guys can just enjoy seeing the donkeys, because that's what we're that's what we're gonna do for today. Come on, Buster! Come on, Buster! They're more interested in Tucker's manure today. Buster, come on, bud! Come on, Buster! The donkeys are down here checking out the mess that I made. <laughs> They enjoy the pipes. Didn't mean to scare you guys, sorry. I, uh, we had these old two inch PVC pipe laying around the stable for, oh, years. I mean, it was outside for a long time and, and it's the kind of pipe that we used originally for the girls when they wanted to jump their horses. We thought, you know what, you could just use these, put them across, you can use them as jumping rails. And, and that's what the girls used them for, for a long time. Well, now we actually have a jumping set that the girls use and uh, the girls don't ever use these for jumping because they're not pretty. And I get that completely, so. The problem is that because these pipes are so old, they're just, they're not adhering. The glue is not adhering the way it should be on these guys. So I uh, came down here because this piece here popped off, which is where it's connected from old to new. And it's understandable. I, I know why that popped off, but in an effort to fix that, I pulled all this off and I thought, oh, now you've done it. <laughs> so we've got some new parts coming. My mom's going to drop them off and I'm going to refix this, move on with my life onto something else so that we can continue to go because I like the system. It's working great, but yeah, I'm, I'm done talking about it. We're just going to work on that and get that done. Next up for me is going to be manure. Now that the donkeys are all set and good, I got to clean up the stable and because it's manure day. What I think we're gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna set up the camera for time lapse and we're gonna speed our way through doing manure. Sound good to you? Sound good to me. Finished up with manure. Everything on the outside is all done and ready to go. And interesting fact for you, it's 11:40. So I am so far behind schedule that I haven't even gotten started on the fly masks, the fly sprays, and the sunscreens. However, the weather is changing quite a bit, and because it's super windy and the clouds are getting started and the thunderstorms rolling in at about 3 p.m. I don't need to worry about sunscreens, which makes my charts a lot simpler. Not to mention, Roni and William are gonna be turned out together in the big field, which is super exciting and awesome to see. So Roni gets to spend the majority of the day out in the big field, and then at night he's gonna be with his brother in the left run. So simply because I'm so far behind schedule, instead of filming, which is what I was gonna do, I'm gonna get started on fly sprays. I'll see you guys at turnout. and that's gonna be everybody for the big field. Looks like these uh, rain showers are coming in a little early. So what I'm gonna do is, hey Swade, hey Swade, hey, 
Whoa. Whoa. Sorry guys, I couldn't work on a good camera angle there. I'm gonna take this fly sheet off, Suede. I don't want him caught in the rain with this on him. There's, it was not supposed to rain today until 3 p.m., but, and that's why we didn't put any fly masks on any of the horses, because I wasn't sure if uh, the rain was gonna be coming sooner than that or later than that, and thought better not risk it, because that's how they see. But with the fly sheet, all this will just get super heavy, and then that's how that breaks. So now we don't need to worry about that being a problem on Suede. We're just gonna let the horses get a drink and then close things up, and that's gonna be it for morning feeding. So, before everybody else gets in here, what's going on for lunch? Tuna sandwiches. Tuna sandwiches, and what kind of chips are those? Barbecue. Barbecue? How's it been going in here? Fine. Good? Oh, well, I'm really far behind schedule, if you couldn't tell. I can tell. She can tell. So what are you girls going to be up to for the afternoon? We are doing what we do every Tuesday. We are taking stuff out of boxes and putting it in bags. Some hardcore stuff. All right, lunch was good. I had an egg sandwich, and uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It's always nice that Grammy makes food for us like that. So I was going to be... Uh, was it, my afternoon was pretty much up in the air because I need to get that <clears throat> pipe fixed. But at the same point in time, Tuesdays, I'm supposed to work for Brian midday. What I was going to do this afternoon for Brian ended up not happening because it's raining. So now I'm going to go work on that fence line. And wouldn't you guys know it, the donkeys, they didn't put a roof over the fence for me. So I'm going to have to work out in the rain. And so long as the rain doesn't get too heavy, I can have the camera with me. So let's see what trouble we can get into. And how are you two doing down here, huh? You guys causing trouble? Don't act like it. I know you are. All right. So the rain is just soft enough that I'm able to be out here. And I'm getting wet, but not soaked. So I'll take it. We need the rain. I just dumped my tool bag. Oh, good deal. Nothing fell out of it. We need the rain. So I'm, I'm happy that the rain's here. We just, maybe like not now, maybe tonight. How about tonight? <laughs> I know, we're never happy, are we? All right, so I realized I just forgot to turn the fencer off. Man, I'll be back. I gotta go turn a fencer off. Okay, now I got all the parts I need. I got all the tools I need. Probably don't, but I think I got everything I need. I wasn't planning on recording this, but I'm at the point where video is gonna be pretty short if I don't record what I'm doing anymore because I'm running out of time in the day. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse quick. Hopefully this won't take long, and uh, hopefully we'll get this knocked out and fixed for good. So I think <laughs> for the third video that I have this system actually finished. Now, I just wanna go over a couple things that I got wrong here. So if you guys decide to implement a similar system, uh, you don't run into the same problems that I did. Let me just start off by saying that the system is actually fantastic. We are not having any problems with the horses on the fence. I've joked about it a couple times, but we're not having any problems with the horses attacking it. That may be different for your stable or your situation. We have the electric wire running right over the top of it, so the horses do not bother it underneath. That's kind of like why we designed the, our fences this way. We like it that way. Uh, we don't need to worry about winter at all with the water runoff. The problems that I was having was that, and this is the mistake I made right here. I didn't clean the pipes. I didn't buy cleaner. I only bought the solvent weld to glue the two pieces of pipe together, and I was using old pipe. So none of the connections on all the old pipe were solid. And that was the mistake I made. I shouldn't have done that. Should have used the, the cleaner. I now have used the cleaner on all the connections. Mistake number two that I used was using these guys, these plastic little clips that hold the pipes on. We have metal ones now. I used plastic first and these plastic clips kept snapping and breaking when the pipe was on the fence line, which would then create pressure on the connections. 
and then the connection would pop off. So now that I'm using the metal clamps to hold the whole pipe up, I don't think we'll be having any issues. Now, what we did to just patch the whole system up, I put in the metal brackets today, I re-solvent welded and cleaned off all the pipe, and then I cut off the old ends, which then of course created a lot of, oops, sorry bro, which of course then created a lot of open space. So I used a couple Fernco couplings, and I mean, this is like one solid pipe. I mean, it, it's, I'm impressed honestly how good that is. So with all of that coupled together, I think we won't run into any problems. All right, so we have the hydrant running. We're gonna see how the water does. Ah. There we go. Now all the waste water can go in that. <laughs> now I don't gotta waste all that water. Hey, there we go. And there's all the nasty. Let that run for a little bit and soak through. you mind holding the camera for me? By the way, my mom showed up. She's here to see how the system works. There, now we don't have to worry about all that waste water getting in the tank. And we should have water over there soon. It's working! Woo! For the third time! Oh yeah. All right. Like I said, if I run into any other problems, we'll, we'll work through it, but I'm pretty sure that that's the last time. And if there is any more knots or problems in the system, then we'll work on fixing them and I'll let you know what I did along the way so you don't have to make the same mistake I did. But it's looking good. I'm seeing no leaks. We're gonna go check it out. Right. Looking good. Look. I didn't get a chance to ask you, Mom, what did you think of the whole system? I, I think it's amazing that you've got this running water from so far away. And we have fresh water down here for these horses without us having to bucket it. This is awesome. It is pretty awesome. It's cool that it's all gravity fed. Yep. Let me give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek as to what I'm going to be working on this upcoming Saturday. Or for you guys, it'll be this upcoming Sunday's video. This ditch that has been created really not a big fan of so this whole thing i'm going to be trying to conquer here this upcoming saturday i gotta rip this wood out here this old section and then i'm going to reshape the ditch so that the water is not going around it's going straight through i'm going to fill in all this area here that's gotten washed out and I'm going to be taking rock and putting it all through down to slow the water so it's not eroding out the bank any more than it already is. Up there is working absolutely great. And this, once this is done, this is the last thing I needed to get done for this run. And then the right run is ready, baby. Well, it's not ready so much as it just, it's, it's maintained and it's where it needs to be. So there you go, a little sneak peek for what's coming up this upcoming Sunday. I'm gonna go grab a round bale. All right, and we have a round bale. Yeah, yes, I have one in the shed that I could feed, but this one got a little hole in it. I was out on a little quad date with Megan and I was looking at the round bales and I noticed, well, what do you know? We got a hole in that one, so I need to feed it. And it was the only one that has a hole in it. So we're gonna, feed it right away so that the horses can still get the feed value out of it before it gets to the point where they can't eat it anymore. All right, we got all the horses in. So now we're gonna take out the round bale. Woohoo! That helps when I put it in neutral. guys and it's going to be on that note that we're drawing an end for the video for today thank you so much for watching if you haven't don't forget to hit that like button and make sure that you're subscribed i also wanted to bring out a thank you to all of you for commenting what your favorite food was it was actually very enlightening to see all the different types of foods you guys liked megan what's your favorite food bacon egg and cheese bagels bacon egg and cheese bagels for me i'm gonna have to say tacos someone commented tacos the other day and and that kind of touched me right at the heart i'm gonna be honest Thank you so much for watching. I said that already. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. What is that? Isn't that gorgeous? It's fat gorgeous. <laughs> huh?